So you're interested in creating widgets for your React Native app. So these are the steps that you can take to create the widget. So we can first start by npx initiating a React Native app. So you can do this with Expo, uh, especially with a new EAS configs. So if you want me to do something with Expo, let me know in the description. Just have to install React Native to your machine. One thing you must know is that we're gonna have to do some things in Android Studio, but I'll guide you through it. So after everything is installed, just run up your emulator. Make sure everything is working nicely. Install this package. This allows us to communicate between the native code and the React Native app. So it's more of like it talks in the bridge. Uh, so you just have to install that and then after this like i said you have to do some stuff with uh android studio but we just have to delete all the code in the app.js and then replace it with the code which is in the description so it's in the article just add all the code this code here it has uh that import that we just installed which is the shared uh, group preferences and then also it's just like a simple text input as you can see on the left hand side so you add something the whole hope of this is that after you have something working you're gonna type something and then it's gonna show in the widgets that's what we want at the end so so have a yeah, so, so that's what we want. So we want to have a text input and then do something in that section there and then it, it is automatically added to to the text input. So Great does this by using that handle submit. So it shares the, the item that you typed. Uh, you have that shared storage. So that shared storage is where actually it connects to those native to the native modules and uh, passes the data through the native and the React Native uh, section of our app. And um, yeah, that, that's that should be everything that you need to have going. Um, you can just go for yeah, just just copy the code. It's still. In the description or you can go to yeah so let's open android studio and you're gonna do most of the work in android studio so you basically gonna be looking at the android side so that means then you have to open the android folder via android studio so that's what i'm doing right now so just know where you installed your app because you can have to open it up so the app that we're doing right now is called the widget app so you have to enter that folder and then open the android you have to enter that folder and then open the android folder if you don't enter the android studio it won't work as nice um, on, initial, on initial load, Android Studio is going to try and build the app. So after it's built, uh, you just have to go to the res, create a new widget there. And then you're going to keep the default name and then just click on finish. So it will open up a new file, which is a Java file. That Java file is for the widget itself we going to do some changes on this later but for now this should be fine so what's actually happening now is that this new widget will be created on the app because we just created we in the native code in native android code so and then we created a widget so this widget should be created on the actual app itself so we can launch it just to check if it worked so you might just have to restart the app 
once more so you can do everything yarn android or npx run android so let's we'll just restart the app after what happens you you want to just go to the widget section of the app and then uh, check if you can see the new widget that we just created so we we'll just do this in a bit So on most phones, the way you reach the widget is by long pressing on the home screen and then go to the widget, drop, go down until you find the widget and there, there we go, widget app and you see that there is one widget there, so that should be the widget for our app, the widget that we just created right now. So you just simply hold and drag that to the home screen. You must remember that initially we said that we want minimum pixel one by one. That's why it comes out so tiny initially. So you can change that when you actually creating your widget. And just like that, we have a working widget. How easy was that? So now not enough to have working widgets now we want to reach to do stuff that we want so we'll just go back to the main screen and then we have to add new files there these files are gonna handle the logic of actually passing the data from the app itself to the React Native app so I just, I just created like right now I just want to create a new widget which uh which we're gonna use to do the changes that we're gonna do so we're just gonna create a new widget and i'll call it my widget everything else i'll just uh keep it the same or maybe let me, let me just give it a minimum width of two uh So even here it's gonna create a new file and then it's gonna automatically take me to that file. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a new Java file. Uh, that's gonna actually need two files to, that we need to create. And then the code for those files is also in the description just go to the description you will see uh, an article with the code that we are going to use so you can simply copy that paste code and then you're gonna paste it in. so you're creating a java and then you can name it main application no it can't be main app application should be a shared storage the java so but you're gonna just you must be careful when you name your don't name the files So creating the set storage folder, I mean file. And then the first line which is of app must be there for all your apps. So just make sure that you that name over there will be the name that you gave your widget. Your app I mean. So you must ensure that it's the same. And then I'm just gonna highlight and paste the code that we talked about so which is in the description and then we have to create another one 
as well it's gonna be the shared storage package uh. then similar thing here we're gonna have to let me go to the article and copy the code for the package and then just i'm just gonna paste it here Okay, so what's gonna happen now is that we we're going to have to add a new line here is the packages dot add new set storage package yeah? so this is kind of uh, the package that we created And then from there so now I don't see any error in the code so we can just have a look in the widgets see if everything is good this side yeah so basically Sometimes you might want to change some items here, especially if you wanna go for like really complicated widget example. So, like, so what I've done now is just I just highlighted everything, and then I went to the file in the description, and then I just copied the logic, which is in the widgets, widgets, uh, like uh, class. So I just copied everything and then pasted it here. But it still remains like that first line should be uh the app that you're doing and then so this which is right here should have the logic whereby it takes the value from the home screen to the native code so i hope you're following at the moment so what I'm gonna do now is that we just gonna go to the res, then the layout, and then this my widget. So the XML kind of like, if you can think of it as HTML, but for Android uh, native apps. So it just controls the layout of of the widget. So. I just wanted you to have a look at how things look on this side but then like you normally would want to change the attributes so that's if you wanna it's more recommended to just play around with the attributes um and the only way to get the attributes is you can click on on the element itself and then you're just gonna see the attributes being displayed and you may want to play around with things like the font the text size the style so those are items that you might want to just like play around with them and see if like uh, is there like style that you want So it's, so it's a lot of, of options there that, uh, that you can play around with as you can see right now I'm just playing around with the, with the font ok 
So it's like worthwhile just to understand how everything works. Especially now with the new Android uh, styles, like you might want to for them and they they're doing like really complicated things with Bluetooth. So you, it might be handy just to get familiar with how the attributes work for different styles. And I can do a video on just like the native uh, layout or how do you, how do you edit XML. So let me know in the description if you want me to do something on that. And if you still following, uh, I'll just currently I'll just open up the, the app and see and test once more if in theory it should like the example should change once we change uh, the code like the app itself like the text input so I'll just restart the app then we're just gonna test once more to see how do everything work So I'm just gonna have a look that time. Not what I have looking. So I just remember now that we have two widgets, so I have to actually go and add the widget that we created. Remember that with this one, which is the widget that we created. So let me just delete uh, the other one and then add. Okay. Let me just say app info. I don't want that. Okay. Yes. So I'm just gonna expand that. So saying that now, no, no data. So I'm just gonna hit date and see if I do it soon. I'm just gonna write hello and see what happens. And you must remember to press enter in order for it to reflect. So there we go, we have hello. So if you've made it till this part of this tutorial, uh, congratulations. So, so I can say, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, y'all.